The history of the grilled cheese sandwich The grilled cheesy sandwich, a bizarrely sweet spin on the traditional grilled cheese sandwich, was introduced in 2021 by Everglazed, a donut store at Walt Disney World in Florida. Instead of using bread, the sandwich uses slices of glazed donut to hold the grilled cheese. This ooey, sweet twist on the traditional sandwich was a smash and is still offered today and in the 1993 movie Benny and June, the illiterate alluring Sam, played by young Johnny Depp, uses a clothes iron to make a stack of grilled cheese sandwiches in one of the cutest grilled cheese sandwich scenes ever to appear on film. Unacceptable culinary practice, definitely, but potentially a significant moment for this hearty sandwich. The grilled cheese sandwich is one of the best comfort foods ever, and practically everyone makes their own variation of it. And now for some information. At least one grilled cheese sandwich is made by about three quarters of persons who purchase cheese slices. While the French have been making their famous croque monsieur since the early 1900s and similar recipes are mentioned in ancient Roman texts, the grilled cheese sandwich as we know it today is generally credited to Otto Frederick Roeder, known as the father of sliced bread, who created a bread slicer that made distributing white bread simple and affordable James L. Kraft, a businessman whose groundbreaking pasteurizing technology assured that cheese wouldn't expire, even when shipped over long distances, had just before that patented processed cheese. J. L. Kraft & Bros. Company, the foreigner of Kraft Foods, established its first facility in Illinois by 1914. The business had already spread into Canada five years later. Of course, this factory cheese was not seen as a delicacy and was derisively referred to as rat trap cheese or rat cheese by the English who were fiercely proud of their cheddars. It was merely a reasonably priced and adaptable product from that point on. Sliced bread and processed cheese advanced at top speed. In accordance with recipes from government-issued cookbooks, Navy cooks made innumerable American cheese-filled sandwiches in the galleys of ships during World War Roman II. These were typically served open-faced in the 1940s and 1950s and were made of one slice of bread with grated cheese on top. Individually wrapped slices of processed cheese were first created by Kraft Foods in 1950, and supermarkets started carrying them in 1965. Around the same time, the second, an arguably most significant slice of bread was added on top, probably to increase the filling of the sandwich. This is when the idea of a grilled cheese sandwich as we know it today was formed. It's also important to note that the term grilled cheese as we know it today doesn't exist in print until the 1960s. Before to that, sandwiches were always referred to as toasted cheese or melted cheese sandwiches. Which brings up a bigger point. It doesn't really matter how you make this sandwich, historically, there have been a variety of methods used. A recipe for melted cheese, intended to be prepared in a hot oven, first appeared in Sarah Tyson Rohr's Mrs. Rohr's new cookbook in 1902. A recipe for toasted cheese, intended to be prepared by broiling the ingredients, first appeared in Florence A. Cowell's 700 Sandwiches in 1929. In the Boston Cooking School cookbook published in 1939, the recipe for toasted sandwich advised cooks to broil the ingredients or gas, saute them in a frying pan coated with butter, and in the joy of cooking published in 1953, Irma S. Rombar recommended heating bread and cheese in a commercial waffle iron an easy meal for even the maidless host to prepare the grilled cheese sandwich has experienced strange events. GoldenPalace.com, an online casino, paid $28,000 for a half-eaten grilled cheese sandwich in 2004 that had the image of the maiden Mary burned into it. A Florida woman had kept the sandwich undamaged for 10 years, no joke, before trying her, ultimately successful luck on eBay. She then sold the sandwich to the casino. A remarkable 34.5 grilled cheese sandwiches were consumed in one sitting by American competitive eater Joey Chestnut who gained the title of World Green Chili Grilled Cheese Eating Champion two years later. A record $1.4 billion was allocated by Kraft Foods to its marketing initiatives in 2007, a major chunk of which was intended to revive Kraft singles and bring grilled cheese back onto the list of quick menu alternatives. For a chance to win $50,000, participants in a MySpace competition had to make and upload home films honoring grilled cheese. The objective 
according to the Kraft Global Senior Creative Director at the time, was to get people to make just one more grilled cheese sandwich every year. That's cheesy now the National Grilled Cheese Invitational was hosted in Los Angeles, California, from 1993 until 2014. Self-described grilled cheese professionals came to compete, and one maker ultimately received the title of grilled cheese champion from the panel of judges. These days, you can go to the Atlanta Grilled Cheese Festival on April 30, 2022, or the Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championship on April 23, 2022, for some friendly rivalry. Yum!